What should we do today, PC? I don't know. Maybe show them how you created me? Ah. Uh -huh. Thank you, PC. You're very welcome, Bossity Boss Boss, the greatest boss. I think we know who's the boss. Welcome back, my friends. I'm really excited about this video today. If you've been to my Twitch, and the link is going to be in the description below, a lot of people ask me how I'm able to have my PC respond to me and even control some aspects of my stream, changing my scenes and things like that. To pull this off, all we need is one program, and that's a program called Voice Attack. Uh, the link is going to be in the description below. And the cool thing with voice attack, because it's a separate program, if you watch any of my previous videos on OBS and how to add some creative elements, OBS has the ability of doing plugins where Streamlabs OBS does not have the ability. However, voice attack can work for OBS studios or Streamlabs OBS. So yay, Streamlabs. All right, so let's dive right on in. We're gonna download the program and go step by step on how to create these command prompts. Okay, my friends, here we are. This is the website, voiceattack.com. As I mentioned, the link is gonna be in the description below. So we're just gonna click this download button. It's gonna bring us down here. Click here to download vo uh, voice attack version at this time, 1.8.7. We're gonna do that. And it's going to install. You'll see a tab down below. Once that's done, go ahead and click the voice attack installer.exe. That's going to open up. We're going to click next. We're going to accept the terms, click next. It's going to add it to our C drive. You can change it to whatever um, hard drive you want to install it on. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut. Next, install. All right, and we are finished. We're going to launch OBS, click finish. So voice attack installs. This is a limited trial version. The trial version is more than fine with what you need. The difference is that the trial version comes with 20 command prompts, which should be more than enough for you to be able to change your scenes and even add some fun creative elements with this. But if you want to have unlimited commands, then you would have to pay for the full version. So at this time, just click go. It's going to give you this command prompt that's saying uh, voice attack works best with a properly trained speech engine. Um, you don't have to show this again, but you can go through the steps. Let's uh, train the speech engine. You can go through that. That's fine. I'm just going to close it out at this for the purpose of this video. Next is saying Windows security may prevent voice attack from working. That's don't worry about that. Just don't show that again. OK. All right, here we are in voice attack. The very first thing we want to do is make sure that your microphone is assigned. So we're going to head down here to this wrench. That's your settings. And under the audio tab, if it's not selected in the audio tab, come all the way down and make sure where it says set windows default media media uh, multimedia audio recording device on startup. Uh, make sure that is your microphone there's a drop down menu you can choose whichever one it is that's my blue yeti and make sure you click change now and then do the same thing for the very bottom one as well and then click ok you should it should start recognizing and you're going to see uh some text saying that it's recognizing it the reason why the boxes are yellow here is just because it's not assigned to a specific verbal command and i'm going to explain that in a minute but if i say hello good day to you there you go it recognized that so it's green that's because it was a a, a preset command that was already in there when you installed voice attack so let's take a look on how we can start adding our own commands first thing you need to do is you need to come right up here uh, to where this box is with this pencil and it's going to open this window here. Let's just expand that. And you can see right here where it says hello. That was the spoken command. And the actions was to say good day to you. And that's what you heard. You can delete uh, these commands. I, I did just so I can clean it up. Uh, I, I don't know if these count as 
part of your 20 because remember for the free version you only have 20 commands i i removed mine so i would just go ahead and remove them just to be on the safe side and just create your own from scratch okay let's go ahead and create our first command and next to your profile all the way to the right you're going to see a box with a pencil go ahead and click that and then edit a profile menu is going to open up and again to the right in the top it says new command we're going to click there and this is where we're going to create our first command add a command by default this top box is checked and that's what we want we want that to be checked because it says the command that's going to be executed when i say and in this section we're going to type what we're going to say uh we're going to say howdy okay then we're going to come down here and where it says other click there go to sounds and then say something with text to speech this is the response from voice attack so we want voice to say um good day to you click ok and now that should be assigned click ok we need to apply it and then click done so when you want to use this command one thing you need to know about voice attack is that it's constantly listening so if you're talking and you try to go right into a command prop as i'm talking right now and i just say howdy it's not going to recognize it because it took everything that i was saying before it and try to tie it in so if it's like a single word or if it's just a short phrase you have to pause let it reset and then and i'm just talking maybe a couple seconds or a second just pause and then say the command so i would pause howdy good day to you there you go all right so now you saw how you can have some fun and have your pc talk to you like it's alexa or jarvis or something like that just be creative with it and have some cool call and responses but now let's dive in on how voice attack can actually change some scenes for you. So if you're in the middle of a game and you're on a controller or keyboard and mouse and you don't want to take your hands off of those, you can just speak into it and it can change a scene for you. So once again, we're gonna go to the square with the pencil, that's to edit the profile. And we're gonna add a new command. Uh, the same row, when I say, and let's just say, um, camera one so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this key press and then it's going to give you a really important message you can read through that let's close that out so here we're going to assign we're going to press this key and it's going to hold for one second and then it's going to release so we want it to press and then release so here we can choose whichever we want to use control alt shift windows press i'm going to do control right shift one so left control right shift and then one and then hit okay so now we see when we press left control right shift and the number one it's going to hold for one second and then it's going to release so this is now a hot key that's assigned to this command if you want it to respond once again we can add that on top of it so we're going to come down here to other so now we also want to go to sounds and we want it to respond to us and say you got it click ok so now when we say camera one it's going to hit these hotkeys it's going to release and then it's also going to respond by saying you got it click ok we need to apply it and then click done all right so here we are in obs and here we need to add the exact same hotkey that we created in voice attack to the specific scene that you want to call up an OBS. So I went ahead and I added two different scenes with two different hotkeys so that I can show you how they may switch. For example, this may be a full webcam shot for your just chatting scene. And then you may have another scene for your actual gameplay where there's a game display with your web camera off to the side and you can call both those up with um, your game camera and then your just chat camera 
The way we do this is go into settings of OBS. On the left, you're going to scroll down to hotkeys and then scroll down till you see the first scene that you want to assign. So if you remember, I created the first camera and here you see switch to scene. We made that control shift one. And then to show you how it works transitioning to another scene, I went ahead and I created another hotkey for my second scene that I want to call up. And this one is command shift, I mean control shift two. And then we're going to apply that and hit OK. So now both those hotkeys are in OBS and voice attack. Two separate commands on voice attack and two separate hotkeys on OBS scenes. Hopefully that made sense. So now to test this out, we're going to pause camera one. You got it. And then to switch back camera two. There we go. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. You now have the ability to speak and change your scenes. Uh, you have some cool, fun, interactive ways where there's a call response with your PC. I know your chat is going to enjoy it. Be creative on how you use these commands. One thing that I would love to try to do is take it to another level and maybe incorporate a chat AI bot like a, a AI puppet that as voice attack is speaking, the puppet is moving its mouth and that is representing voice attack or the PC, in my case, Priscilla Catalina, and just uh, try to be a little bit more creative with using this voice attack. I have an idea how to do that. I don't know exactly how to do it. So I know there's plenty of people out there that are so much smarter than me. If you have an idea how to pull that off, let me know in the comments below. I'll love to be able to read those and maybe pick your brain. I stream on Twitch, so the link is going to be in the description below. I would love if you come hang out, ask any questions, and if it's pertaining to this video or any other video, I'll love to have that conversation with you. And I also have a Discord, and in that Discord, there are a couple channels. One is a streamer's help channel. If you need help or any tech issues, throw those questions in there. I'll love to be able to answer them. Or if anybody else in the discord knows how to answer them, we can help each other. I also have some resources in there. There are widgets that you can use in your overlays. There are things that I personally created and I've uploaded uh, to that channel and you have full access to it. So I would love to be able to see those incorporated in your streams. So have at it. Okay. So as always, Work hard, play hard. Until next time, see ya. This is what you made the channel points for, right? You know, the occasional remedy. The occasional... Bath. You know, every so often you space it out. But no, you guys gotta like do combinations. You gotta like mesh them together. And then it goes on for like five minutes. What in the world?